tissue structures that you're responsible for for the musculoskeletal system. We're going to start with the knee joint model. So obviously anterior or ventral surface of the knee, you've got this big long tendon here that comes right down the front. On the back side of the tendon is the patella or your kneecap. So this is called your patellar tendon or you might hear it called the quadriceps tendon. Sometimes what we'll do is we'll say from the patella up, this is the quadriceps tendon, from the patella down, patellar tendon. Then you've got the knee ligaments. So notice tibia and then fibula, right? So tibia is always medial, fibula is always lateral. So this is my lateral collateral ligament or otherwise called the fibular collateral ligament. And then if we turn this, then this would be my medial collateral ligament or tibial collateral ligament. So tibia is on the medial side, so medial collateral ligament, lateral collateral ligament. If we look at the knee, I'm gonna pull this tendon to the side. If you kind of look inside the joint right here, you're gonna see a little X being made. So you see the little X right here. So this anterior of the two making the X, that's called your anterior cruciate ligament, and be behind it is the posterior cruciate ligament. Cruciate in Latin means cross, so they cross over each other. Now I could also view this from the back side. then notice here's my posterior cruciate ligament, and I can see the anterior ligament, cruciate ligament in front of it. Now if I fully open and extend the knee, you're gonna see these two cup-shaped ligaments here, and this is my medial and lateral, laterals towards the tibia, or towards the fibula, so medial and lateral meniscus, and they're kind of boomerang or cup-shaped pieces of ligament. All right, so again, we're gonna go now to the next joint. Next joint we cover is the elbow, and the elbow joint has three ligaments that you're responsible for. Two of them are very much the same as they were for the knee, in that you have a medial and a lateral collateral ligament. So first of all, you kind of orientate yourself. I tend to like this model because it has a cut in it on all the models so you can see which bone is which. So this is our ulna, this is our radius. So remember in anatomical position, my thumb is lateral and that's the same side as my radius and my pinky, remember P-U something stinks, pinky is on the same side as the ulna and that's medial in anatomical position. So this ligament right here along the ulna going over the elbow joint, this would be my medial collateral ligament. And if I go to the opposite side, same side as the radius, this is my medial collateral ligament, or sorry, lateral collateral ligament. So medial, same side as the uh, ulna, and lateral is same side as the radius. So lateral collateral ligament, medial collateral ligament. Now we wanna go to the radial head, which you can peek in here, and there's your radial head sitting right there. So this ligament that goes in a circle all the way around the radial head, this is called the annular ligament. So this one with the number two on it. Now, if we look at those same structures on this model, a little harder to tell, but we can tell that this side is the ulna and this side is my radius. So again, we would have my lateral collateral ligament, same side as the radius, medial collateral ligament, same side as the ulna, and the one that goes in a circle around the head of the radius here that's my annular ligament. Now you'll also be able to see it, I pulled out the arm model here. You can also make out the annular ligament on the arm model. So notice we're on the thumb side and this little ligament coming around in a circle. That's my annular ligament and I can see a bit of the lateral collateral ligament sticking out right there. Notice I can't see the medial collateral ligament on this arm. Then you have two, or sorry, three for the wrist or the hand. So this kind of flat piece of membranous cartilage that is sort of over the web of the palm of your hand, this is the palmar aponeurosis. And aponeurosis is kind of like a tendon that you took a rolling pin to and rolled it out flat. So palmar aponeurosis. Then if you remember what we said about the forearm, the front of the forearm are flexors, the back of the forearm are extensors. So this guy right here, this little ligament that you can see kind of back through there, that is called the flexor retinaculum. On the back side, you've got the extensor retinaculum. Same thing would be true here. So if we look at the hand model here, don't notice I don't see the aponeurosis on this model, which is why I grabbed the hand model. But here you see the flexor retinaculum. Here you have the extensor retinaculum. 